Oi. Let me go. Oi, oi, oi. Tell me what happened. Tane told me to get lost and he was going on. I mean, it's, it's all true. It's my don't fault. Don't be scared. Okay, he's going to say a lot of things he doesn't mean, so don't take it to heart, okay? Now go wait for me in my exam room. I'll be there as soon as I can. Oh, I just want to bundle them up in cotton wool and make it all go away. Yeah, well, you better make it fast then. Rua's taking them back home. What? For good? Well, he, he's just being a hothead. Tell him to pull it in. Oh, he's the dad, not me. Hello? Moo cannot run away. He has to face up to this. He's made a mistake, a massive one, and he needs to take responsibility. Yeah, well, at least he won't make any more mistakes back home. What? If Rua looks after him, because, what, he is stricter than me. Please tell me you're not blaming yourself. Well, then snap out of it, will you? Because we need to focus on what's needed here, which is for Moo and Tani to stay together. Unless you really believe that splitting the boys up is the best thing. The boys who don't even blink without asking each other if it's okay. The boys who thought that having the same hooker would be fun. The boys who would die for each other. Sandwich? Yes, please. Peanut butter, jam and banana. How do you know? Sensitive new age guy, that's me. Oh. Would this be the same guy that left his shirt and jeans under my bed? Oh uh, yeah, I don't know how that happened. You see, I remember taking off my clothes, but then I got distracted. Mm. Okay, move along. You're steaming up the fridge. Captain, there is jam in the butter. Whoops. If you need to go back to the butter, clean the knife after you've used the jam. You're right. Hmm. There you go. Just like a bought one. Move away from the cutlery. Now. What if you boys germs are good for you? And you call yourself a doctor. Huh? Get... Oh, um, your peanut butter's gone AWOL. Hmm? No, 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 I'll get it. Suction, nurse. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. I really don't know how you put up with it. It's cute. No, cute as little fluffy bunnies. Captain Denton is repulsive. He has no manners. He's winding he is... you up. Oh, no, it's not, Tanya. I came home the other day and he was drinking milk straight out of the garden. Oh, did he have a shirt off? Oh, I love it when he does that. You get a really good look at his tricep, but what? I give you three weeks of washing his undies and watching him pick fluff out of his navel and doing heaven knows what with our butter and then you'll soon change your tune. I don't think so. You're still in the honeymoon zone. Let's talk when that's over. And if he carries on like this, then it will be over. Libby, do you mind? I am quite happy with Kip and I don't need you predicting doom and gloom. Maybe you should just concentrate on your own perfect boyfriend. Shanti Kamari. Yes. Guarantor for James Scott. Yes, Jimmy, but he never got the lot. He's defaulted. There must be a mistake. See, I did sign the form, but they never gave him the loan. Yes, they did. Five thousand dollars. Yeah, well, just a hundred for today. You want money now? Oh, uh, unless you want me to take something for the value of five grand. What? No, this isn't my stuff. Hang on. Uh. Uh, I've only got. Forty dollars on me. Will that do? For now. Dad's made up his mind. And have you? Have no choice. Do I? It's pretty easy. What do you want to do? I'm going to sit next to Tony for the rest of his life. Well, that's that then. You're staying, aren't you? But he can't stand the sight of me. Well, that's too bad because he needs you. He needs someone to yell at, someone to hate for a while, someone to be strong. That's the problem. I'm not strong. Look at what happened today. I totally caved. Well, you're just going to have to man up there, aren't you? Handle it. I don't know how. You'll find a way. Hi, Bex. It's Shanti here again. Um, has Jimmy turned up yet? Oh, it's nothing. I just thought he might have... Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to be a bother. Um, I'll catch you... Later. Well, I got a little carried away at the mall. Um, water slide for the kids, a couple of things for Bex to get her off my back, and a little something for you and Jamie. That looks expensive. Oh, what price can you put on family, eh? Now, if you need a hand with dinner... Jimmy, I, can... I had a visit from a debt collector. 
Crikey, that was fast. They usually take a couple of months. You knew this was going to happen? Ah, oh, don't worry. They may act tough, but uh, they just all talk. What? He was talking about $5,000, Jimmy. The $5,000 loan that you said you didn't get. Okay, here it is. Um, I borrowed some money off a bad crowd, right? They came down heavy on me, real heavy, threatening to break my legs and... You don't want to know about it. Please don't tell Jamie. Things have really picked up between us. If he finds out about this, then we'll be back to square one. I don't want to lose my son again. Oh. Woohoo! Ten points for that, beauty. Cap! Lip. What is wrong with this picture? Um... Oh! You want a pedicure too? I'm okay with that, but um, you better check with Tarns first. It might look a bit saucy if she walked in on us. No, I don't want a pedicure. I also don't want to find a lost toenail on the couch when I sit down to have his neck. That's all right. I've got all the boys under control. Yes, I can see that. I also think that personal grooming sessions are best kept under control in a private venue. Like a bathroom. Even the bathroom in your own apartment. Right. This is like um, an etiquette thing. Yes, it's like cleaning the knife pre-jam. Drinking milk out of a glass instead of a carton. <gasps> Not picking your nose in front of the TV. Okay, good. Thanks for that, Lip. I'd like to know where things stand for the ladies. Oh, good. Mm. Okay. Things were getting a little tight, so I went to one of those dodgy loan companies up on Q Road uh, to pay off the bank for another loan. A couple of mates on the TAB said they'd sort me out, no worries. Mates? You mean the bad crowd? Yeah, they're good boys, usually. Uh, they had an inside tip on a dead set. Turned out to be a dead loss. So, how much do you owe now? Two thousand. To the mates, five to the bank. Oh, who cares about the bank? If I don't square it away with these guys, who knows what they'll do? I just hope they don't know that my son lives here. Okay. I'll lend you the money, but this is the last time and I want to see your automatic payment form with my own eyes. Whatever you want, you've got it. You little beauty. I was going to say this for later, but uh, you deserve a treat. It's from the fridge, so I'll crack this open while you go and get your checkbook. Or not. Eh? Hey? I've changed my mind. I can't lend you the money because I don't believe you. But it's all true. There's a taxi rack just up the road. Are you kicking me out? But you don't know what these guys will do to me, to Bex, to the kids. Well, we better tell Scotty then. Goodbye, Jimmy. But you've got it all wrong, girl. I, I wouldn't rip you off, not you. Gee, that's better. Must have been a bit of a backlog. Too much information. Yeah, no, you're right. Oh, it was pretty scary. I wasn't going to look. Get but I did. Say, um, did we have corn last night or the night before? Not listening, not listening. Not listening to what? Yeah, I just told her that I dropped the kids off at the pool. Oh, you're talking about a brown one, isn't it? Tanya, I thought we call it at work when it's everywhere. Excuse me, they were not everywhere. They were perfectly fine. Oh, flatters, huh? Mm. You are as bad as he is. Mm, it's all right. <laughs> Have you heard from Dad lately? Not since yesterday. I just tried to call him at home. Bex said they had an argument. And she reckons he's staying with us. He'll be at a mate's place or something. Yeah, I suppose. You're ashamed of your son and, and you want to hide him away so that everyone will forget about him and forget about what he did. The only ground he needs to make up is with Tane, here. You don't think he can, do you? No. Well, at least he'll give it a shot. And what? Report on you at the same time? Well, that's what will happen. Cars will keep an eye on him. Yeah, he'll watch him slowly lose the plot till he can't find his way back home. Because he can't deal with the guilt. It's too much. I don't want my son going crazy. I won't let that happen. Roy, you know we can't protect our kids from making mistakes. We just have to help them through the patch-up job, no matter how scary it might get. So just let him stay. Let him try. Uh, this is Michael Beach. He's not saying much, but it looks like an assault. Found outside the TAB. Do you lose consciousness? No. 
Okay, Mr. Beach, had a rough day there, mate. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a rough day though, but I'm feeling much better now. Oh. Uh, you're going to need some stitches in that before you go anywhere. Any family you'd like us to contact? No. Get the kayafner down here. Sure. You have a patient with biliary colic? Cubicle one. What happened to Jimmy? Sorry, huh? Craig's patient. Oh, you know. Yes, I do. So, now I'm not allowed to leave the toilet seat up. I clip my toenails or burp in public areas. Yeah, is Libby giving you a hard time? I don't know how you put up with them, mate. I want to put up with her right now. I asked her to move in with me. Hey, when's a big day? I'll have a shift. Mm -hmm. No, you won't. Just turn me down. Oh. Oh, well, I guess that gives you time to think it through and make sure you know what you're letting yourself in for. Actually, you can do me a favour. Shoot. Keep being yourself, don't change a thing. Mm. Continue being a pig so Louie comes running to you. No, so she learns to appreciate the concept of lying on man, man space. Absolutely. Mm. <laughs> so they tracked you down, eh? So who did this to you? <clears throat> Just some young punks trying to lift my wallet. I should have given it to them, but you know me. Got put up a fight. I'm calling the police. No. Why not? Oh, I can't remember what they look like. We should report it anyway. I don't want to make a fuss. No, I don't care what you say. I'm... I said no! You knew them, didn't you? Just a few bad debts. Nothing I can't handle. I want names and amounts. Tell me! I can't. I'm sorry, son. No. Don't be. I knew you couldn't get up the horses if you tried, but it just blows me away that there are still people stupid enough to lend you money. I'll sort it out, don't you worry. Oh, I won't. Because this has nothing to do with me at all. Hey. I thought about it clear I don't want to see you anymore. But that's not going to work for me. Or you. Because we're a team. And the team has to have meetings. And right now, we need a lot. I want you to go. Too bad. You can chuck stuff at me, you can say what you like. But I'm in for the long haul. No matter what. I'm going in. I want to see him. Don't panic. He's not dead. But I wanted to throttle him myself. He can't stop the gambling, Scotty. He needs help. He doesn't want it. He wouldn't even tell me who he owes money to. That's because I'm on his list. Eh? I loaned your father money. <sighs> Talking serious cash here, not 20 bucks for milk and biscuits. No, I gave him $3,300 in cash. What? He gave it back, but I also underwrote a loan for $5,000 and he hasn't made a payment yet, so the debt collectors have come knocking on the door. I know, it was foolish, but I just, I wanted to help. He had a job lined up, but he needed a car to get it, and I just thought if he had a job, you might see him differently, you know? You might give him a... Scotty? Don't say one word. Just pack your things as fast as you can and get out of my house. Actress Rona Gallagher, possibly best known for her role in The Commitments, joins Dahi and Claire today on The Daily Show at 10 to 5.